What can happen? <laughs> it can't be worse than what we're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, vibranium. vibranium. These are vibranium they're bites. Of, they're made. They're vibranium made of, bites. <laughs> Hope you ate your veggies. <laughs> Hope you ate your veggies, baby. Oh, I know how to do that stuff. What's that? Guys, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. We're here with my bro, my little boy, my disciple, Lorenzo. Primo loco! Woo! Hey, hey, what's up with you? Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Say hi, ain't you fish? Yeah. Oh, good, that's good. And here, special guest on Watch Your Lip this time, guys. It's Raj, the iguana man. Raj, tell me what's up. Hey, everybody, what's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video. Hey, Watch Your Lip, David, thank you so much. Oh, dude, check it out, man. For having me out here and, uh, you know, inviting me fishing with you guys. This looks like a beautiful day, so I'm really anticipating seeing a giant fish. Giant fish, we're permit fishing, guys. I, there's guys out here catching kingfish. We're not really geared up for that. We're actually got some live crabs out. We're gonna try and get some some permit going on. I heard the pompano were going off. We might try that too. Guys, give us a thumbs up, like the video, share us with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's see how we do. We're on Deerfield Pier. Till till then, let's see what we do. Watch your lips. Watch your lips. So trying to get out of our driveway and uh, that's the exit right there to get out. Lorenzo, I hope this isn't like a sign of the rest of the day. Okay, we can finally go. What do you think, buddy? You ready to go fishing? Um, oh yeah. What are we gonna go get? Um, hopefully permit, no. pumping out, or maybe even a snook. Oh, we always gotta keep, we always gotta keep the snook hope open, right? Uh -huh. Got it. So well, we're gonna be targeting permit. Oh, Raj the Iguana man, what's up, baby? What's going on, guys? What's going on? We're doing a little fishing today with Watch Your Lip, man. We out here <laughs> going after some permit. Dude. We're using some live crabs. This guy's seen better days. He's, he's seen uh, better days. He's a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a live one out there, out there in the surf. <laughs> guys, there are permit, there are pompano, there are bonefish, sharks, whole different, a whole bunch of different species out here. So that crab man, I wish him the best of luck. But those fish, <laughs> they better watch their lip. Watch their lip. Bro, sh show them the crush. Show them the crush on that crab oh, right there. Oh, Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check it out. Check it out. Check this. So this dude got crushed. And uh, Permit will come in. They'll, they'll just crush the crab and take out the innards or whatever. Something and, hit him with some force. Look yeah, at that right there. So he got crushed. But, bro, Lorenzo, we got to get one on a hook, don't we? Yeah, we have to. Dude. Dude, we gotta do it. Yeah. So guys, Raji Iguana, man, hey, you gotta check out his YouTube channel because this dude's awesome, man. He's he's multitasking, man. He's doing he's got the he's got the fishing thing going. He's killing. Oh, baby, he's going out, all. bro. What, what's the deal with iguanas? What how'd that start, bro? All right, so iguanas, man, they're invasive species over here in South Florida. So basically, what we're doing is we're spreading awareness to people that they are here, but we encourage people to catch them and look at them as a resource instead of catching them and throwing them away or destroying them. Uh, we're trying to show people that they are edible, very edible, they're very good, and you know, um, they should be looked at as a resource. It's good to know that maybe one day a guy can go out there and uh, catch an iguana and feed his family if he had to, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so, so they of, actually, no, I've never eaten iguana, now tell me about that. Uh, well, iguana, just like what they say about everything else, tastes like chicken, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my opinion, I think it really does. In fact, I think it tastes better than chicken. I think it tastes like okay. a crab mixed with a... A crab mixed with a chicken, mixed with a, I don't know, it just tastes really good. It, it has its good. own unique flavor, so. What's your just, favorite recipe? Like, what's your, like, oh, your, the nicest way to do iguana? What's okay, that? so, best way to do iguana, fried iguana tail. That's it's where just you, the tail? Yeah, that's where you get the iguana, chop it up, like, skin the tail. Yeah. So chop it up into, like, little, like, uh, scallop. Okay, things, okay. And bread it and just fry it like how you would, like, a Really? Like a, like a fried scallop? Yeah, exactly. Come on, exactly, baby. Exactly. <laughs> and another one of my favorite ways is to whole roast an iguana. Okay. So basically what you do is you get the iguana, you dispatch them, you clean them, you make sure it's scrub his skin. You gotta leave his skin on when you do this, by the way. Yeah. Then you get a charcoal grill, you know, you let your charcoal, let it do its thing. Yeah. Season the iguana in the inside, you could even stuff them if you wanna. Throw that puppy on the grill, cover it, uh, turn it twice, you know, turn it every 20 minutes, let it cook 20 minutes, flip it around, turn it, and then when it's done, when the iguana is done, you'll know it's done because the iguana will be kind of stiff, and when you peel, when you rip the skin, the skin will just shred right off. And yep. The meat inside is gonna be like roast pork. It's just really? gonna fall. It's gonna it falls fall, out? Yeah, it's gonna fall right off the bone. And then there you go. You guys can just pick up the iguana. <laughs> delicious, delicious, delicious. For anybody that's never tried it, that's the way I recommend you doing it. 
All right, we'll take that into consideration. And if we can get up the courage to, to eat an iguana, bro, hey, Lorenzo, would you eat an iguana? <laughs> hey, hey, you don't have to answer now. You can pray about it. You can, you can pray and think and just kind of consider. Well, what, I, what I tell everybody, eating iguana is a very big step. But for, before you do any of eating or any of that stuff or even thinking about it, first you're going to catch one. Let's go get one. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> we're, hey, I'm going to go out and catch some iguanas with you, bro. <laughs> So, hey, check out the shirts. You should definitely do wow, it. Wow, look at that, bro. You Keep on man, catching. Guys. You Keep want on man. catching, baby. That's what we're doing out here, guys. Raj is, Raj is entertaining, man. I've watched his videos, and he's an entertaining guy, bro. But hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll catch, a, catch a permit together. Bro, one permit, they'll feed all of our families all at one fish, bro. It's, yeah. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of meat on that Dude, one puppy. I got I to gotta tell you something, man. I've never seen a permit in person. Okay. Ever, ever, ever. I've seen it on TV a couple times. I'm like, this thing looks like a big, uh, what is it called? A big pompano. It's a massive pompano but, on steroids. Yeah, exactly. So I've never seen one. If we can see one today, we're going to be making history for the iguana man. <laughs> okay, good. So you got, you got the Sonnenbergs here. Woo! What's up, kiddos? Hey, ladies, I love your shirts. Metamorphosis? What? Let me see your shirt. Let me see. Show me. Oh wow. Can you tell me the stages of a butterfly metamorphosis? Egg. Egg and then and then what? Caterpillar? Chrysalis and then what? Butterfly. Butterfly, give me five. What's up? Oh my goodness, Zeke. You're just a dude, man. Give me a pound. Can you give me a pound? Fist pump? Pounded. Bam! Pounded. He exploded. Lorenzo, catch some fish. All right, Lorenzo's gonna bring our crab trap in. See if we got anybody. Anybody in there? No, there's nobody in there, man. Drop it down. Nobody home. Nobody home. Nobody home, guys. We need crabs. There's nobody home. So that's where you wanna hook a crab. That's very risky uh, how close you are to the edge of the shell, but we're gonna throw them out anyway. So okay. it, it might break, but I think we're good because it's a real hard shell. So, little crabby, ready, dude? You ready to go out, buddy boy? <laughs> okay, duck a bleed, duck a bleed. We're going out. Watch out, buddy boy. Watch out, Lorenzo. Yeah, he, he didn't watch his. He don't. He's got some ugly lips, but he should have watched them. Uh, permit lips coming at you. <laughs> That was a belly flop. <laughs> Little shell shock. Okay, well, got me a little blue runner. It's the perfect bait. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna hook him right there. And we are gonna get him out. That's a nice little bait right there. No, that's perfect. That's a great, that's a great bait right there. All right, Lorenzo, uh, we didn't get the hit on, on video, but we got spanked, Lorenzo. Tell, tell us what you just saw, man. Craziness. Well, what happened with this rod, bro? It bent, it bent like. It all bent the way all the way down, down, right? Like all the way, like up to like right here. Yeah, it bent all the way down, and we had the circle hook going, and it just it didn't get him. The circle hook didn't get him. Oh, so close. So, but we got we got some more baits out. This was our live only live crab. All we have is frozen crabs out there on the other rods. Uh, that was our only live crab. We're hoping that maybe we can get another one, but dude, sorry man. That was that was that was our that was our big hit for the night. Raj, that was crazy. dude. I just want to show you guys. Look at the heavy, how heavy action this rod is right here. No, that's a, that's a thick and when rod. I'm telling you, this rod was bent all the way down there like that, like about a snap. Like the strength and the weight and the way that fish hit that bait right there was yeah. unreal. 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 Gosh. Got Duke Perdick in the house. Dude, Perdick, what's going on, man? What do you think? Just, just marinating some fish bites. Marinating fish bites. Yeah. Let me see. I mean, what, do, what do these things look like? They, I've actually never fished they're, them. They're like little pieces of leather, and if you try to stick a, a hook in them, I mean, when they're wet, they're not easy to get a hook into, but really? when they're dry, that's so, impossible. So if they're dry, you can't hook them. Lucy, you want to take a baby with you tonight? No. 
Oh yeah, just you're just gonna disappear with the baby. So watch this. Oh, did you want the the, the pumpkin over here, bud? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is yeah. Watch this. Put it on here to get it through because I didn't let it soak long. But so you gotta let them soak first. Is that well? Is I that think so. I can't. I can't, unless there's some trick to getting it through here. Look at this thing. The is that, that on the instructions on like how to how to hook? No, it's, it's in the product. You know we don't read instructions. What? <laughs> what? You know we don't read instructions. Don't read instructions it. are for the masses. <laughs> <laughs> so, Let those... so what you're saying is if we have yeah. if we have if I have three of these on here, we're not gonna need to like keep putting them on. That's what the, mid the YouTube videos say that YouTube videos say they can use them over and over, man. Yeah. Get hooks here, sweetie. No, I don't want you to get hooked. Yeah, use them over and over. Use them over and over. I think, you know what? Honestly, we should get like a drill bit and, and pre-drill these things. <laughs> Visualize myself getting speared through my thumb with this gold pompano hook right now. Because <laughs> pushing the... This is unbelievable how these things are... Right. It's, it's stronger than leather. It's you like... what? Charlie, what was uh, Captain America's shield made of? Vibranium. Vibranium. These are vibranium they're made, bites. They're made, they're vibranium made bites. Dude, I'll tell you what. Just put, just put one... Just put them through once, man. You don't need to put them through eight times. You think? Yeah. I put them through twice. Okay. Yeah, just put them through once. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow your lead. I'm dude. telling you, man. Just I'm do it once. I don't feel like sparing my, my yeah. thumb. And you might like I don't, I don't like those gold hooks. I know they use them for popping up, but I'm using circle hooks. Hey, Renzo, check it out. I'm using circle hooks. In true and then in true fashion, focus. I found this washed up in seaweed in the beach. And that's <laughs> where I got my pompano rig from. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Dude, my, I keep I keep the the words of my mentor keep ringing loudly in my memory. Do not spend money we on bait. Don't spend money on fishing. Yeah, well, we don't. We spend money on stuff that we we make our rigs and we catch our bait. We don't buy rigs. We don't buy. We don't, we buy, don't, rigs, buy, we don't buy bait. Yeah, yeah. We don't do Except that. Except I did buy this fishing bites from Walmart. Fish bites. I think it was two ninety nine or something. Oh, they like smell. Man, they're gonna kill my hands, aren't they? They're gonna make my hands smell. Yeah. You got yours on already? Yeah. You got some powerful thumb. No, I got sharp hooks. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look, this looks like oh. looks like my hand fell in a bucket of oatmeal, man. Yeah. That's 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 some cheesy that's some cheesy hand action right there. This is the first time that we're actually gonna fish with fish bites. I keep hearing about them. Uh, we're gonna put them out right now. My hands stink like something nasty. But here here we go. I'm gonna put them out. But Lucy, watch out, baby girl. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Here we go. We're going out. Fish bites are away. How do I feel? Um, I feel I feel skunked because so far I haven't caught anything. Okay, so we're not catching anything. Right. So, <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm, I'm naming this. I'm calling it the insanity rig. It's the insanity rig. Yeah. So you got a put, live a live dwarf jack with a dead shrimp on his back. It's called the ja, ja, uh, shrimp on back. Shrimp jack. on back jack. Shrimp on back jack. Yes. And so now now they call it a dwarf jack. Now his friends are going to call him a dwarf jack. The it's dwarf going, the dwarf jacks are going to It's going call straight him. down, dude. I'm not even going to cast it. <laughs> Right Dude, the dork jacks are gonna call him dork jack. Yeah, I'll put it right over here, man. <laughs> Close up to that one. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's see. What can happen? <laughs> it can't be worse than what we're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. It, yeah, it can't get any worse. So we might as well try it. You never ever know. Rod, you say you got, they got a, uh, a, what do they get up there? Yeah, they caught, snapper? they caught a keeper mutton and they're catching little, like, I don't know, little chubs. runners, chubs, so. Got it. Fish are definitely, the fish bites definitely start to pick fish up Fish bites little. picking up a little bit. Yeah. We're trying. Go check the crab trap. Go check the crab trap. Do we need another crab? Because that, Ooh. that permit blasted our live crab. We have no more live crab. All we have is dead ones. So, guys, while we are waiting for fish to hit, we are going to interrupt this fishing video for some midweek baseball action. Lorenzo, something wonderful happened. Stay tuned for this. No pressure, buddy, no pressure. Just play ball. That's it! Yeah! Yeah! Go, buddy! Yes! Oh, Lorenzo, tag the plate. Try to play. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Bro. Let's go. Let's go. Watch a loop. Come on, baby. Woo. Nice job. All right. So 
Samuel and Lorenzo, you guys had a great game tonight. It was, it was tight all the way to the end, right? Yes. That was eight awesome. Nine. Yeah, it was eight to nine. It was eight, eight to nine. nine. Uh, the Astros versus the Cubs. Uh, Lorenzo, you guys pulled ahead. But uh, Lorenzo, question for you. What happened out there? I hit a dinger. Your home home dinger. <laughs> <laughs> so now, this is your first Little League hit. And it's a home run. Yeah. So how does it feel, man? How does it feel to hit a home run? Awesome. Uh, I, now, I do have a very, very serious question for you, Lorenzo. Which one is a better feeling? Hitting a home run or catching your first slot snook? Home run. Better <laughs> feeling. Samuel, what do you think is a better feeling? The snook. Snook? Yes. Dude, give me five, man. All right, Lorenzo, what do you think? Oh. Snook. Snook? Okay. He's, that's my boy, the fisherman. We love baseball, but not as much as fishing. So proud All right, of so, love. Lorenzo, so proud of I think, uh, now another question. What would you like to do as a reward for hitting your, a home run? Fishing. Yo, fishing, dude. Oh, that was crazy. That was incredible, oh right? God, bro. Best hit ever. Yo, right. fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Hey. So, Lorenzo, so my entire my entire life in Little League, I never hit a home run. <laughs> your first hit ever, your very first experience hitting the ball was a was a three run three run home run. Hot, dude, what's up with that? Why are you gonna start with the home run? You can't go anywhere from there. <laughs> What you guys are awesome. Yeah, but <laughs> they sure are, man. <laughs> hey, like I said, man, keep hitting them out the park, man. Shoot, that's cool, man. That's cool. Dude, t tell me, man, what's up? What's going on with the team, man? Oh man, a lot of snappers out there. There's you snappers know, out there. A lot of snappers. Okay, let's see. We got, we got Mangrove. Hey. Got Mangrove. Got a Chub. Got a runner. Mm -hmm. No, no kingfish caught tonight. Uh, no kingfish. Uh, the bait was out there for the kings. The blue runner. Yeah. All right, that's your fishing page. Yeah, it's Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Set the hook. Oh yeah, I follow you. Set the there hook. You Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's you? Yeah, I didn't know you came out here, man. Yeah, set so the hook, up. baby. Guys, we got set the hook fishing. We got watch your watch lip. Your lip. Guys yeah. out here doing it. Make sure you guys huh. follow. Set the oh, hook, baby. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Look yeah, at these yeah. bad boys out here. That's how we doing it out here. Wow. So is this is this mostly pure oh, fishing? Goodness. Or just wear, wherever? Fishing. Trinity my neck right here. Oh, I know okay. him. Oh, that's my homie right there. Shout hey, what's up, Trinity Man? Nick, what's up? Oh. <laughs> Come on, I've never seen him bigger. Have you seen him bigger nah, than that I've big? Seen, I've seen him bigger than that, man. Hey, you, you can oh, do pretty okay. things with camera if you're good. Just get a little yeah, angle going. Oh, <laughs> 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 <can do that. laughs> I know how to do that stuff. Hey, we got big fish on, bro. They just have monster, guys. They use a blue runner. We got a live blue runner on there. All right, bro, we got... We got such a hook fishing. So this is back up, sweetie. Come on. Hey guys, you gotta Lorenzo, walk him down. Walk him down, son. Walk him down. Come on. Walk him down, bro. Did he come on? I think so. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Come on, walk, walk him down. Permit, permit. Here. Lorenzo, wait, wait, wait. Here. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, he's taking drag, baby. I think it's be a nice shark. Come on, I think it's a shark. It's a. It's only a forty-pound mono leader. Bring, reel him up so you don't push him the water. How do you feel, man? How does Lauren? How's that feel, Lorenzo? <laughs> Dude, that's a 10 foot rod, man. You're having a hard time. Just hold on, Lorenzo, for dear life. You got him, buddy. <laughs> I hope you ate your veggies. <laughs> hope you ate your veggies, baby. Hold <laughs> on. Take your hand off the reel, son. Lucy, watch that. Back up, baby. Come on, Lorenzo. All right, here. Let me take you up over this thing. Let me take you up over this thing. Come on. Here. Here. Take that. Hold on a second. He's gonna spoil. Film, film. Oh I don't doing? know if you can see anything, guys, but there's a humongous fish, like a big fat whale. Oh, he popped. He popped. No! He popped. Oh my god! That's a long. So I, I went to go pay for parking. What happened, dude? I reeled. This happened. I reeled. I was trying to reel in this permit. Permit that. Wait, did did it hit? Yes! Did like the rod bend? Yes! Yeah, he had a bite. He had a bite? <laughs> had a bite. And then did, just... did, it, did it take the clicker? Like, did you hear the drag go out? Yes! Wait, did we? Yeah. No, yes. the one that, remember the one that you pointed okay. to us? Guys, alright, so here's what happens. Permit crush 
the crab and they take the bottom half because the bottom half it has all the meat attached to it so the top half is just a shell and it's not edible so what happens is the hook if, if they don't get that hook in their mouth they'll they'll disappear with all the good stuff and leave us with this lorenzo why don't we, why don't we like hook it right here that's nowhere to hook it really dude lorenzo man this is like unbelievable so so we've had two permit hit one, two permit and one, one big, row shark and <laughs> one shark that was really like working you on that big rod. So, dude, that is that is a good sign because at least we know the permit are out there, buddy. Dude, fish. Okay, I call them look downs. Yeah, look down, moonfish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that's so cool. So someone told me there's a real good eating. They are good eating. Is he big enough to eat? Uh well. I I, I think you can eat just about anything. We should give him to our special fish. I think he's. I, th I think he is big enough to eat, and he's still alive. You guys can see his. Yeah. He's still wow. kind of flapping right here. Dude. Who just caught that? Well. No, I found it on the floor. Lorenzo, let me see how flat he is. Hands, Pancake. Hold on. You don't know where that's been, so. <laughs> Moonfish. Well. Now hold it. Dude, that's pretty cool, is man. Still alive. Yeah. It's the Moonfish. Look down. They're actually in the Jack family. It's, uh, I got, I got a question. Do we do we actually consider this a skunk? No. Unless, yes, unless we <laughs> hooked a fish and brought him on the pier, it is right. a skunk. Do dork, yes. do dork jacks count as a landed fish? Those are bait. Yeah. <laughs> Ross says yes. Yes. Bernie says bait. Dude, when I tell my wife, hey, yes. I'm, and she says you're fishing, I said no, I'm catching bait. There's a difference. So, <laughs> Okay, I gotta so you be gotta, consistent. You gotta, you gotta, that's, that's you gotta maintain. Fish, bait, yeah. You gotta maintain the wife verbiage. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you don't maintain well, the wife verbiage, I believe verbiage. It. it. Just you know, even if it was a lie, right? If it was, I'm not gonna say it was because I don't. I wouldn't lie to my wife. But <laughs> as George Costanza says, it's not a lie if you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider it not a skunk because I mean. Technically, if you just get a fish on there, hey, a fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. Is a fish above we got to look down in the cooler, hook the shark, got worked by a permit. Bro, that permit was a beast. A beast. So are you saying, are, beast. You, are you saying getting worked by two fish, not having either one of them landed, counts as one fish? Uh, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying there's a look down in the cooler, so that is one fish. That is true. Watch your lip. That's thin, bro. <laughs> That's thin. Yes, they are thin. <laughs> they are thin. They are thin. So, we're so you said we're going to leave in 10 minutes? We're going to leave in 10 minutes. Right, hold on a second. Siri, set a fisherman's timer of 10 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> Perfect. 20 minutes. Perfect. 20 minutes. That's the fisherman's timer. That's the fisherman's timer, yeah. <laughs> fisherman's timer. Siri, tell me when it's time to do my last cast 14 times. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're just hanging out. Just hanging out. We're waiting uh, for our first fish. For our first fish. You've been here since what time? We got here at five, man. We got here at seven. Dude, I, I've had one piece of shrimp. Dude, I've had the same piece of shrimp on my rod for the last time. Oh, what is that? That's the 20 minute timer. The 20 minute fish timer. Sorry. It's the 10 minute timer. We the said we were leaving in 10 minutes. Fisherman's time. It's 20 minutes. So now we can start packing up then. Is that now, now we can all take our last 14 casts. <laughs> and we can hey. we can have desperate. But here, here here's the problem. That would take a long time because this piece of shrimp that I've had on this rod right now yeah. is the same piece of shrimp that I've had on yeah, the I'm last. I'll tell you what, I've never looked forward to Burger King as much as I am right now. <laughs> okay. I got I got I got the BOGO coupons. At least Alright guys, so we did spend uh, about four and a half hours on Deerfield Pier. We got smoked by some kind of shark that bit us off. Lorenzo, we had two permits on. Uh, both of them got off. That's no bueno. You found a, you found a look down somewhere on the, on the deck, which uh, I don't know. I, I think we count it. We're not skunked. Right? We're not skunked. We're not skunked. We're not skunked. Gave We're not skunked. Us, uh, Raj the Iguana Man. Hey. What's, what's, up? On, guys? what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, check it out, man. Today, really good day. Yeah. Uh, really cool. Beautiful weather. We got a couple bites. We weren't able to, you know, land any of the giant fish. It's okay. It's okay. There's going to be another time. But what we want you guys to do is make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You can still give this video a like. And if you guys want, leave some comments.
comments down below on what video you guys want to see us do next. What right? do you want us to fish Watch for? your lip though, remember that part. Watch, watch your lip. Watch your lip, watch your lip. And you gotta, guys gotta check out his channel. Dude, he's a fisherman, he's an outdoor extravaganza man. I love iguanas. He loves iguanas, love iguanas. And, 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 we have, and he has fun. I can tell you that, dude has fun. Dude Perdick, give me your final analysis. Um, I'm gonna call it a uh, non-skunk night only because on one of my, when I pulled up my uh, rigs, I got, I found, I snagged a weight. You snagged, bro. This is about a dollar twenty worth of weight. Yeah, so nice. now it's like, what is it, like 28 cents an ounce now? I don't know, it looks ridiculously it's expensive. Ridiculous. I hate losing any weights or any lures or any rigs and hooks for that matter. So, so, a weight. so I'm in a, I'm in the positive tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I spent time with friends. I met a new friend, Raj. New friend, Raj. Yeah. Um, and the weather's beautiful, fresh air blowing at, I don't know what, 15 miles an hour, southeast yep. wind. So it's worse than good tonight, right. and it's nice to get some fresh air into the polluted South Florida yeah. air. Fantastic. Lorenzo, you have, a, you have your uh, another baseball game tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. So it, you better get home and get to bed, dude, because if you're going to knock him out. Oh, here, oh. There's Mr. Drama. What I tell you, bro? Mr. Drama right here. Goosey Goosey. Watch it. Okay, good. good. All right, guys. Goose, how about dab out? Dab out. Hey. Okay, all right. Super dab, super dab. All right, guys. Until next time. What? Right. Dab out. Okay. On the way out, we are no not scum. Now you can it say, is now, a. Now we can say we're not it is a grunt. <laughs> we are officially not scum. Yeah!